Guys, let's talk about the importance of the right position to train. A lot of people want to know every single position, every single uh, fancy position. It's crazy. The ones that you jump around, you go bearing bolo, you know, uh, spider guard, uh, and a lot of uh, fancy movements for for TV. The reality is, uh, fancy movies work sometimes, but uh, in my idea, much more important than uh, position, if it works, is the rate of working. What that mean? I uh, mean that when you, you have a position and you try and uh, with someone the same level than you, that position will work. And how many times if you think, uh, if, example, if you, I try 10 times, how many times are going to be successful with the positions? I think that's much more important than just uh, learning any position. I think it, uh, it's important to know the position that really going to work, the position that really going to make you successful in that situation. So. If I learn a throw, example, I'm gonna learn a crazy throw, then I saw a guy doing the tournament, then the guy do a backflip and a cartwheel and go shoot in and throw the guy. How many times I'm really gonna make that, that position uh, work? How many times I'm gonna really make, be successful with that position? I think. That's more important than learn uh, any position. I, uh, it's important to learn the position that works. The basic positions, the position that you do from white belt to the black belt, the positions that you're going to really do apply to every single one. Because I can, uh, as a black belt, I can do any position with a guy that never trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu before. I'm going to get him and uh, do the position, then everybody's going to see, look, that position is awesome. Doesn't mean I'm going to do with another black belt in my level. So that position uh, works with some people that uh, don't have the same ability as me. So that doesn't count that much, right? So you should put your time because you have a short time to learn. Imagine if you train two, three times a week, hour, hour and a half. From this hour and a half, you have a time to learn a position 30 minutes. That's a stretch because not every single gym then put 30 minutes to learn a position. So you put 30 minutes to learn one position today and after next class gonna be another position and you don't know so we're not gonna have hours to learn the position you're gonna have a position another position another position another position so if you learn one position every day for one year straight 365 positions. Do you think in 30 minutes you're gonna know the position? That's not gonna work, right? So, better stick with the position that works. So when I get my students, I, I, I tell my students, do this position. Ah, but the, the bedding bolo position, that's nice. But it's not for you. How you can learn uh, to, word, uh, to write a word if you don't know the letters yet? You need to learn the letters, you need to learn the syllables, and you need to learn the words. Then you're going to start to do a sentence, and one day maybe you can write a book. But people want to write a book in two weeks of BJJ. That doesn't work that like that. So put time in the position that works. First things first, learn how to fall. Ah, it's boring, it's, you know, hard to your body. But after you learn that, 
you're not gonna get hurt anymore. So you put in investment on your time to be safe and have more time to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's one way to see. So invest your time in the right things to learn. If you learn how to roll, if you learn how to fall, if you learn how to escape from the bad situation, and if you learn how to do a basic position, like a cross choke, nobody wanna learn the cross choke, but I don't see people doing cross choke. I saw a black belt doing another uh, black belt from like two times, three times world champion, tapping a cross choke. You're gonna tell me that doesn't work? Or you don't know how to apply? Two different things. So invest on the positions, invest in the, the basic position you're gonna use every day. Triangle arm bar, triangle arm bar, triangle arm bar, Kimura Americana, Kimura Americana, Kimura. My last four or five fights in uh, uh, grappling, I probably did uh, Americana. I, I tap uh, in uh, arm bar in Americana, the guys in UFC, in uh, basic positions. But you don't want to do that, it's boring. Then you complain, then you don't know berimbolo. That you don't see people doing berimbolo in uh, a black belt doing another black belt. Oh, I saw for that he, a guy then did for 10 years berimbolo his whole life. He do that because he's good on that position. But doesn't mean that you're gonna be good at that position. That doesn't mean that position works for you. And more than anything else, that doesn't mean that position is important to you to learn right now. You're gonna learn berimbolo, take time for that. In my time, berimbolo uh, used to call Della Riva. And Della Riva, the, the guy rolled back that one sweep from Della Riva. You don't even know what's Della Riva, how you wanna learn it, berimbolo. Is a, a section. Ah, but I, I know De La Riva. Yeah, you know De La Riva. So how many sweeps you did from uh, De La Riva this week? So that's important to focus on. Close guard, open guard, pass guard, on top, on the bottom. Basic stuff. And when you know the basic stuff, you tapping everyone with the basic stuff on your gym, then you jump for a, a next a nice position. I'm not telling that berimbolo doesn't work. I, I, I believe them work, like rubber guard works, but why not people not doing rubber guard anymore? Only few people, they always did it, they, they know how to do, they have good elasticity to do, they have good, uh, uh, timing, control, everything to do the position. They, they are black belt already. They really can apply because they put more time on that position than the other positions because they choose that position to themselves. But they learn the other positions already. They choose to stick with that one. But the people that wanna jump to the rubber guard, and then jump to De La Riva, and jump to spider guard, and jump to... That's not how it works. Go for the base first. This video is kind of long already, but you get the concept. Trying to do a basic stuff first, learn, and then when you really know, then you add something to your game.